Image tracing allows us to take non-vector images, such as JPEG, PNG, GIF or bitmap, and create a vector-based cutting outline from them. Let me show you a few examples. To activate the tool, we go over to the left-hand toolbar and click on Image Tracing. Now we can import an image that has been scanned on our machine, but for the purposes of this example, I will be choosing an image from my computer. Navigate to the folder containing the image, select it, and click Open. The image tracing process will then preview the cutting outline that it has been able to find using that shape. We can choose to trace by just the outer edge or trace areas by colour. For this example I am using the trace outer edge only option. Before I click OK, I will deselect this box that says paste the image on the drawing area. And this is because I just want to load the cutting outline. When I've clicked OK, the shape is then loaded into Canvas Workspace and placed on the cutting mat. From there we can move and edit it as we would any other cutting outline. More on editing later. For now, I will delete that shape and show you another example. This time a multicolored design. Now the software did well at finding the outline of the shape, but what will happen when we change this to trace areas by color? We can see that it has now found additional cutting outlines based on colored areas. We can even increase the number of colors that it finds to 20. This time I will paste the image on the drawing area along with the cutting file. When I click OK, you can see that everything has been loaded and I can move it all around and resize it as I would other shapes. Now, unlike the online version, the image layer does move and resize with the cutting outline. So this tracing result is better for us if we want to resize what we are tracing. Over on the Layers tab, which is on the right, we can see the individual shapes that go to make up that design and the image layer. If I hide that, you will see just the cutting outlines. They are all placed in a group. If I ungroup them, I can then move the image out of the way and start dissecting that cutting outline. So as you can see this design is made up of multiple shapes. Now it didn't pick up all of the colored areas but it's a much better result than we would have had on the online version because we were able to move and resize the traced image as well. OK, let's try one more. For this example, tracing the outer edge only did well and it's picked up a lot of the areas. So I will click OK here to load everything. And as before, this is a better option for us because we can resize the image along with the cutting outline. 
Now, in order to print and cut, you will need to have activated the print to cut feature, but this is a perfect way of creating print to cut outlines. As you can see though, there are instances where the results are better if there are solid colors or if there is good contrast between the background and the shape that we want to trace. If this image had had a patterned background, the software will have had a much harder time recognizing the outline. In addition, the landlocked areas won't be cut. They're just some things to think about when looking for and selecting images to trace and cut. As you can see though, the process is very simple and you can trace pretty much any of the four file types that I've mentioned, JPEG, PNG, GIF or bitmap. There are some limitations and the software will obviously let you know if it can't do what you're asking. I will cover off the other option, the image scanning, in a later video.